haven't done in a really long time on the NES Pursuit and I miss it a lot. And that's go out while it's still dark outside. Grab some food, go game hunting. I gotta get me a, a car like Andy's. An FJ. Land Cruiser. You think if I, I could trade all my games for it? I'll trade all my games for it. No. His Spanish is actually very excellent. He just hides it from you guys. It's true, I gotta whitewash it around you guys, otherwise you guys don't want to understand squat. <laughs> like to live in Alaska it's like what 65 but here in California I feel like it's like 40 I, do, I think yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty rocked right now so one thing that I forgot that happens when we go extra early is it gets cold I mean it's not like five degrees cold like where you guys are from or something like that but for someone who lives in California like Southern California all their lives 40 is cold it's cold it's cold Jose Frio Jose Frio <laughs> yeah that's good <laughs> Ricky, feel your nipples. How are they? His are probably like super supple. Pretty hard. No. No, he's, he said he's, he's, he's hard nipping right now. A reason that I'm extra, extra stoked is we have two people with us today. We have Art, Ricky's brother, and Andy with us. So that means that we're going to have the camera operating at all times, no matter what. Which, for someone like me who cares about that stuff, makes me excited. Look at this. Who's Wii Wii games? Wii. Sims 3, Beatles Rock. Oh, so that, this was definitely a home that had the whole music set going on. Rock Band 2, Rock Band 3, and Beatles Rock Band. Yeah, I heard like the whole set for this is like 160 bucks. So. One of the first things we find is a bunch of Wii games, which is actually exciting because for some reason I don't see Wii games too often. There was nothing that great though, except for a game called Blazing Angels. All right, this actually looks kind of cool, Ricky. Not blazing lasers, but blazing angels, squadrons, squadrons of World War II. It looks good, pretty cool though. Kind of piqued my interest until I looked online about it. Yeah, I had to pull the whole online card because I wanted to know about it. But the reviews were like five out of ten, so. Eh. I thought it was like a Christian game. Ch Why did you think it was a Christian game called Blazing Angels? Oh, <laughs> or so right a game about this. angels getting high there and you're just like, yeah. The drugs are bad. Okay. You got a little bit of a hair. <laughs> Already. Two of them, dude. Pick up the other one, too. You know, by now everyone's already seen the movie, but we haven't yet because it hasn't come out yet by the time we're filming this, but... I, I have a feeling they're somewhere gonna put him somewhere in the universe. Somewhere. Like, even if he's just in the background far off in the Grab distance. that Game Boy, Andy? What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I missed it. Did you see it. So I'm sitting around goofing off like an idiot, which has its pros and cons. It didn't pay off this time, though, because Ricky found a Game Boy right underneath my... Jaw. Everyone says right underneath my nose, so I'm gonna go with jaw. He found a Game Boy. That thing is beat up though. Yeah. Look at this. Oh. Yes, one right there. This is what you called used and abused. It was beat up bad. It was like a piece of junk. And it looked terrible. Probably doesn't work. It's a piece of decoration at best. Dang it, Ricky just found a Super Nintendo controller. I could actually use one of them. Oh, never mind. So today's I guess it's not bad. We keep finding things, but it's really disappointing. They're good things, but everything's beat up. And when I mean beat up, I mean beat up. Whatever. The pursuit will continue, though. You close enough to that light? Now I am. Now you're playing with power. Now you're playing with power. Super power. Light bulb power. power. I'll show you beat up. Woo! Yeah, that Class. thing's swollen. Classic Ricky. Shh. Getting swole. Man, it. Again. Not getting any luck with condition. Uh, oh, that is so funny. Look, top missing, and then this one has like the roach poop. From the same vendor, Ricky finds a Super Nintendo controller, which I actually needed. And to be honest, it's beat up really bad as well. And then he finds some GameCube games as well, but the discs are missing and beat up like crap as well. It's kind of disappointing when you go to a seller like this who has a lot of stuff and stuff that you want, but it's all in terrible, terrible, hor horrible, unplayable condition, which it seemed like that's all this guy had. Look, got a power. They got all the powers in here. Got a controller. 
I just found that, the nunchuck for that, the Wiimote, uh, a few weeks ago. Are you gonna grab that? Yeah, I have two blue ones. Oh, but you don't have? Yeah. Oh, ask him. Yeah, ask him first. I'm better at How much is this? I've been watching back a lot of episodes and dude, me and Aaron are cheap. I mean, Aaron's really cheap, but we're both just as cheap. There's a, there's like a blue nunchuck. Like we both need it. We both have the blue controllers. How much is this? Five. Ricky? I'm good. Yeah, not for five either. I got the controller for five. We're like all excited and we're like, yes, yes, this is great. Guy says five bucks. The first thing we both do is just, no, no. We're cheap. It's awesome that we're cheap. We're so cheap, but we need it. Look at all these games. I don't want these games. Three dollar surefire? Oh, seems like 80 bucks, dude. Stoked. I got really into uh, Alice Madness Returns on PS3. And this is the Mad Hatter from it. It's like one of my favorite like stories, even though it's kind of like a retold story on the PS3. It's been done. It's been done. But it's 30 bucks. It's but. dead though, look at this. Bruce Willis is from Armageddon. I don't wanna miss it. That's pretty cool actually. You know what I was thinking? What? I, I really don't think that the animal cracker Qualifies as a cracker. Battle class. It's for the uh, Super Nintendo. It's the Super Scope game. Comes with, uh, you know, for the Super Scope. Oh, Mina! Comes with what? Ricky, put your skill. Ready? Ring me up for 1265. Oh, I just made a purchase for 398. Oh, wait, I need to change it. Erase that. Oh, I need to return this. There's no backspace. Resident Evil 5. Ricky, we played this game quite a bit at your house. I love that game. But, disc. No bueno. I can't get over this place, how everything is here, and it's like good stuff, but everything's missing. Hey, check this out, the tech hand. Is this all of them? Dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too bad they're all burning. Oh, <laughs> come on, again, again. Hey, what you seeing, dude? Some VMU'd up? Yeah. Oh, about yeah, you, wow, wow. Let's see this. Dude, I don't know what this is. I thought it was a PSP Go, but it's a ESP. I'm telling you, they forgot the end. It's ESPN. <laughs> I don't know. Look at this guy. That is beast. Dude, yeah. this is awesome. It's right here. Will someone explain this to me why Abraham Lincoln and Obama are the same thing? Uh, this isn't even being political, but they are nothing alike. Well, if anything, they're completely opposite parties, completely opposite extremes on both parties. The opposite colors. But we see nothing and nothing and nothing overall. We kind of hit a dry spell until Ricky finds King of Fighters for the PlayStation 1 in a dollar CD pile. Yes. The King of Fighters 99 Millennium Battle is a 1999 head-to-head -head fighting game by SNK released for the Neo Geo Arcade and home platform. It is the sixth installment in the company's The King of Fighters series. The selectable fighting styles Advanced and Extra from King of Fighters 98 are gone. Instead, the game has a single player style modeled after the Advanced mode from the previous game where the player fills their power gauge by attacking the opponent or performing special moves. Found me some nice King of Fighters. I have it for the Dreamcast, but not the P PlayStation. Oh, Street oh, Skater. That's a bummer. Awesome! <laughs> Even better! <laughs> what? Well, do you need the case, though? Even though the game was gone, the manual was excellent. The case was excellent. Everything's excellent except for the CD. You're kind of surprised how many times you just run into the CD, so you know what? For a buck, pick it up. The game wasn't in there, but you can never pass up a case. A case is... It's a case. You never find cases anymore. And you know what? Every time I get a case, I always find the game. Always. Ask Aaron. There he goes over there. Ding dong. Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> 50 cents a toy. This, this kid knows what's Freezer. up. What else are we seeing here? Oh, Andy. Not big, not big Heck yeah, I find myself a Goomba and a Dreaming Luigi little toy for 50 cents each. I know that's small, not a big deal, small price, but it's stuff like this that makes swap meets fun. This is the kind of stuff that you get excited about. The little cheap stuff that you can get for good prices, even big stuff for good prices as well. But just hearing people say 50 cents without having to do bargaining, no matter what it is, if it's gaming related, that's why I do this. Thank you, sir. We're in the uh, 
Um, no, I'll throw in a different bag. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Got a Goomba and got Dream Luigi. I do have this at home. I don't have this. I know Ricky has this, but 50 cents each. And see, that's what I like. We walk up there, the kid right away is like, hey, 50 cents each. We don't have to ask, we don't have to bargain. He's just like, let's just do this. That's what we need more of in this world. Would you do five on it? Well, I wanted it, but not for 10. Oh well. Ricky. Yo! I have one. I, know, I think I have one. Oh, you do. I have the plug that comes with it. Huh? I know. That's legit. Look at that. Boba Fett in the house. Boba Fett's about to dunk. Look at this. Whoa! I'm just more about this AT-AT right here. Yeah, but it's missing the top piece. Why you gotta complain? Who are you gonna go with? How am I going for three for five? Don't have a, I might go for the don't have a cow man. Don't have a cow man? I think I might have to go. You know what? I'm a family man. I think I might have to go just Happy Simpsons family. Alright. I need I need a good home. You know, home is where the heart is, and uh, the Simpsons are feeling that groove right there. This is pretty nice. Cinema of Fear. It's the 12-inch. Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. How much is this? Uh, I think 25 on that. 25. So that's like the hard part for me today. I'm seeing like that big, uh, you know, Mad Hatter from Alice. This, the big figures are like 12 inches, normally like 20 to 30 bucks, which is good. I don't really need the boxes, and I know people are going to charge more because they are in boxes, which is bittersweet to me because, like I said, I would just take them out of the box anyway and probably toss the box. What's this all about? I don't know what this jazz is all about, but it's Street of Three. Is this normal? Featuring Nintendo All Stars? Dominate the streets and you play with Mario and those guys? Yeah. I don't know. Is that normal? Next, I see Street 3, which normally I would never look at, but I noticed on the top left corner, or the top right, I can't remember, it had like a, a feature pack that came with some Nintendo characters, which seemed really cool to me. Is that like how it is? Like, is that. I don't think all of them came like that. Is this like, I mean, it is complete, but. It's a chicken scratch. Well, I, mean, I, I don't. I, I wouldn't play it. I hate the game. Not enough for me to get it because I don't really play basketball games unless it's like NBA Jam. Street, it's not scratched at all. How much are the games? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. There you go. See, I don't know anything about this. Ten bucks. For me not to know, I, I might be. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know anything about it. Sorry. I almost picked it up, but when I asked, the guy said ten bucks. And for me not knowing about it, I wasn't really in the mood for looking online about it and searching and kind of slowing down the fun. I passed it up. This movie made me, it was so funny. It made me like, do you remember this movie? George! No, everything blew up. He shoot like a, I don't know, some hay and it'll blow up. It's John Cena. Yeah, that's true, it is John Cena. You have the Dark Knight Blu-ray? John Cena! John Cena! When I first had my man cave, not at this house, but a previous one, actually in this one I have some too, I used to load up on like tin signs and vintage signs, so whenever I see them, I get pretty excited. We came by this guy who had a bunch of them, and he, I was looking for some presents for my son at the time. I saw they had a Hulk one, some Batman ones, some Spider-Man ones. I myself would have picked up Batman, but I wanted to get some stuff for my son. I'm gonna snag this, the Incredible Hulk Marvel Comics, 10, two for 15 bucks. Brixton, my son's been snagging a bunch of these lately. Uh, he's got that Silver Surfer one. He, I wanted to get the Wolverine one, and then I realized he's not that into Wolverine, but he is into the Hulk. Every kid's into the Hulk. So, and Art's gonna get one too. Art and I went together, we went in on some signs, and did like a two for $15 deal. I picked up the Hulk one. It actually looks really good by his bed, so I think that was a good purchase. Stop honking your horn! I'm over here. Yeah, who cares? It's a memory slot too. I know. I wonder if the How much is this? How much? Ten. I can't do that, you know that. We're cheap. It's awesome. So I actually want to pay for this. I want to do it. Two dollars for some slides. I just want like one slide. Nobody's here. We're not we're not we're not doing anything illegal. We're trying to find somebody that works here! When we first got there, we actually couldn't find the guy running the slide, and I was like walking around like, hey, I'm gonna go on the slide, I'll leave some money on the table, I don't wanna do anything. I think it was like five bucks for five slides. No? All right, I'm gonna do it, if somebody comes, I'm just gonna pay. Oh, this guy, ha! We found a, a, a point. Yeah. Okay. 
Do that? Yep. Cool. Sweet. You want to go? Yes, sir. Okay. Dude, this is high. Look at this. Go, Riggy! Oh, jeez. It was freaking awesome. It was actually my highlight of the day over anything that we found or even the hunt because it was just fun. Adults, adults need to have fun too. Best part of the day. Big slide. Us. Big slide. It was good. It was fun. That was a huge slide. Wow, that was a really big slide, wasn't it? Bueno. It's not just for kids. Actually, it was funny because people were laughing at us and looking at us and like clapping and Ricky and I got really stupid on that slide. It was worth it. It was awesome. Woo! I'm not kidding, this thing's awesome. Hey, I like your shirt. Luigi, nice. Cool shirt, dude. So, after going around for a while, just not really finding what we want, we decided to just call it quits, just give up. Even though we're not supposed to, like Peppy says. Never give up, never surrender. No games. So, in the retro way, not too good. But it was pretty fun, overall. In the tactical flashlight world, I give it an A+. Plus. My $3 Surefire. Hello. Rare games, but good games. Snow Brothers, DuckTales 2, Little Samson. Oh, is that art? Yeah. Go ahead and lay down and just slide it. Okay. Ah, what? What is that? Well, <laughs> you're gonna have to blur that out. <laughs> well, that's that's a thing. Girls hockey, huh? It's different than I imagined, but it's uh, hmm, supple. Enjoy the next episode of the NES Pursuit. This is how Ricky died. This is my new ramp, which I'm not gonna do any crazy tricks right now because I haven't warmed up. I'm just gonna show you how it rides. The, the vibes. See you next time.